Welcome to the Shonuku How To video series featuring the Madiba to go buggy. We'll be looking at all the important features of the device, how adjustments can be made for appropriate fitting, and the necessary tools required for the job. The Madiba to go buggy is a rugged off-road posture support device, ideal for children six months and older who cannot self-propel and are unable to sit independently. The unique seating system offers full body and head support, tilt in space and backrest recline to allow for optimal alignment and postural support during everyday activities. Before making any adjustments to the seat, always consult a professional trained in seating for assistance. Be sure to check that the device was correctly specified for the user's measurements and needs. The Madiba to go buggy seat is available in four standard widths, which can be adjusted by adding or removing the supplied foam padding. To make an adjustment, simply remove the pelvic side support cover and add or remove the foam as necessary. Remember, good posture starts from positioning the seat and pelvis correctly. To adjust the seat depth of the Madiba to go buggy, you will need a 10 mm spanner. Start by taking the measurement of the user from the back of the pelvis to the back of the knee. Cut the cushion according to this length, leaving at least a two finger spacing between the user's calf and the front edge of the cushion. To adjust the seat depth on the Madiba to go buggy, loosen two bolts underneath the seat on either side of the seat plate using the spanner. Place the seat cushion you've cut on the seat making sure it goes all the way to the back. Now slide the loose seat panel so that it's in line with the front edge of the seat cushion and tighten the two bolts underneath the seat. The position of the footbox should always be adjusted when the seat depth is changed. To adjust the depth of the footbox, remove the seat from the base frame. The footbox hanger can now be lifted and slotted into the appropriate position. Reattach the seat and check that the footbox is in the correct position relative to the seat. When placing the user back in the seat onto the cushion, always make sure that there is at least two fingers of space between the cushion and their calf. You can mark the position of the footrest with a permanent marker to make sure it is returned to the correct position after folding or unfolding. Adjusting the pelvic strap of the Madiba to go buggy is a simple process. Before proceeding, always make sure you complete the rest of the seating adjustments before adjusting the pelvic strap. Also, be extra careful with users with feeding tubes or pegs. To adjust the pelvic strap, first estimate the strap length required with the user still in the seat. After removing the user, the seat cushion should also be taken out. You will find two plastic buckles located on either side of the seat panel that can be adjusted. Adjust them by pulling the strap through the plastic clip that is situated at the end of the strap. Make the necessary adjustment and replace the seat cushion. Now place the user back in the seat, making sure that their pelvis is all the way to the back before fastening the pelvic strap. Always leave enough space for a hand to comfortably fit between the strap and the user. Make sure to center the pelvic strap padding over the user's stomach. To adjust the backrest height of the Madiba to go buggy, you will require a 10 mm spanner. This adjustment can be made while the user is still seated. First, loosen the four bolts located on the back of the chair and remember that the trunk side supports will come loose when these bolts are undone. The backrest can now be moved into the desired position and the bolts tightened to fix it into place. Note that it is important to make sure that the backrest is in line with the tops of the user's shoulders. This will allow the headrest to be positioned correctly. To adjust the trunk side supports of the Madiba to go buggy, you will require a 10 mm spanner. This adjustment should be made with the user seated in the device and will be easier with the assistance of another person. The side supports can be loosened by undoing the same four bolts that are located on the back of the seating system. The user should now be positioned appropriately using the side supports to support them. 
The side supports can be adjusted up and down and inwards and outwards. Make sure that there is no pressure against the user's ribcage and under their arms. Once an appropriate, comfortable position has been found, the bolts can be tightened again and the user's posture rechecked. If you are on your own, it will be easier to adjust the laterals one side at a time so that the back height is maintained. To adjust the headrest of the Madiba to go buggy, you will require a 10mm spanner and a 4mm Allen key. This adjustment should be made with the user seated in the device and will be easier with the assistance of another person. There are three bolts that can be loosened to adjust the headrest. The middle and bottom bolts on the extension will adjust the height and depth of the headrest. The top bolt will adjust the angle of the headrest. Loosen the nuts slightly. With the user seated comfortably, their head in a neutral upright position and their eyes facing forward, bring the headrest to the back of the user's head to provide support. Make sure to check that there is no pressure on the user's ears or any bony features. Tighten the nuts and bolts again to fix the headrest position. To adjust the footbox of the Madiba to go buggy, you will require a 10 mm spanner. This adjustment can be made with the user still seated. The footbox can be loosened by undoing two nuts located behind it. With the user seated comfortably on the cushion, slide the footbox up to the user's feet. When selecting the appropriate height to set the footbox, always make sure the user's full thigh is supported from the back to the front of the cushion and that there are no gaps between the feet and the surface of the footbox. Once the user is sitting comfortably, the two nuts can be tightened again. Always check that the footbox is straight and level when you have finished tightening. To adjust the lap tray of the Madiba to go buggy, you will require a 10 mm spanner and a 4 mm Allen key. There are two aspects to the tray that can be adjusted to better fit the user. These are the depth and height of the tray. Depending on the size of the lap tray, the bolts located on the center panel will have to be loosened. This can be done with the user in the seat so that the correct depth can be set. At least two fingers should fit between the user and the edge of the lap tray. Once the correct depth has been set, the nuts and bolts can be tightened again. Adjusting the height of the lap tray will require removing two nuts that secure each lap tray bracket. These are located on the back edges of the seat. This can also be done with the user in the seat so that they can sit with their arms and shoulders in a neutral position. There are a number of square holes on the corner panel of the seat that can be selected for the desired height. Once this has been done, the bolts can be moved, the bracket put in place and the nuts tightened to secure the bracket. Once the height has been set, the lap tray should be attached and the depth checked again to make sure there's sufficient space between the user and the edge of the center panel of the lap tray. Tilting space is an important feature of a posture support chair. This can be adjusted with the user still seated in the device according to the user's needs during daily activities. To adjust the tilt of Madiba to go buggy seat, take hold of the footbox hanger with one hand to support the seat and loosen the hand knob with the other hand. This is located below the seat. The seat can now be tilted backwards or forwards. Once the desired position is reached, tighten the hand knob again. You can also mark the tilt on the slider to make sure it is returned to the correct position after folding or unfolding. To adjust the back to seat angle of the Madiba to go buggy, you will require a 10 mm spanner. This adjustment can be made with the user still seated. Support the user while making these adjustments. Lift the cover and slightly undo both nuts. Once these have been loosened on both sides, gently recline the user backwards until you have reached the desired angle. Now tighten the nuts again to secure the backrest at this position. The push handle of the Madiba to go buggy can be adjusted to one of three height positions for the comfort of the parent or carer who is pushing the device. The release pins are located on the inside of the push handle frame. Press these pins in and pull or push the handle to the desired position 
with an audible click sound. Always make sure that the pins have clicked. The Madiba to go buggy can be taken apart for transportation or storage by following these simple steps. First, apply both brakes to stabilize the buggy. Then remove the lap tray by undoing the hand knobs and pulling it forward. Shorten the push handle by pressing in the pins and sliding down the handle to its lowest position. Next, remove the seat by lifting and holding the metal tab at the back of the seat and sliding the seat forward until it can be lifted off. Remove the footbox hanger, taking note of where it was positioned. The base frame is now ready to be folded up. Undo the hand knob so that the seat tilt can be moved to its maximum position. Then, pull on the red lanyard located below the seat to unclip the pins. While doing this fold, move the push handle frame forward, making sure the seat plate is kept up. Once the frame is folded, the seat plate can be folded back down and the hand knob tightened again. Remember, unfolding the base frame and reattaching the seat is the reverse of taking it apart. We hope you found this useful. If you have any questions or suggestions, please get in touch with us. We're always looking for new ways to improve what we do.